Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, and let's try and knock out another greed mode. Let's do... Oh, dare I? Yeah, okay. Let's let's attempt Eves. Let's try and get out of red HP as soon as possible. Not die, just get out of red HP. Poor Babylon all the way, there's a tinted rock in here. Huh. Right, our free item is... okay. Damage and range, every other shot. And anything free in here? Another? Okay, well, bombs actually have a lot of value on this floor. Wow. Huh. I was not expecting that. I could put myself in her Babylon straight away by going in the curse room. Well, actually, there's a half heart. Oh. Okay. Well, then. Let's just see what happens for now, then. Maybe we won't get into her Babylon until much later. It'll come down to the first deal with the devil, I think, if I want to fight for it. If I think I can do it without dying. If it's double Ragman as Eve without her Babylon damage, I will get annihilated. Oh, where the... Oh, one of those Shockwave guys came up on the Tinted Rock and gave me two bombs and a Spirit Harvest. That's amazing. Oh, no dead birds out. You're all screwed. Hope you're ready to die. Dead bird's gonna get you. Devour them. Devour their souls. Considering how piss poor Dead Bird's tracking is, it really should do more damage. I'm tempted to hit the button because things are getting a little bit out of control, but I don't want to take the penalty to my money because every penny counts. Dead Bird, get the em emulated one. Get him. There we are. Right, you've got to stop adding ends. Ow. Ow. It's okay, that spirit heart was free. I didn't pay anything for it. This is the last wave. Okay. We can deal with this. That bloody shooting worm, though. Still alive! Where is the worm? There it is. Die. There we go. Finally. Now I can relax. And we're getting a free tinted rock again. Uh, sorry, no. Stone chest. It's a bit annoying, but I'd rather have it over here next to, like, in between the two guys or next to the vase. Hmm. In between the two guys. Maximum potential for payout. There we are. Right there. Two more pennies. I mean, we don't have a spacebar item, so good, I guess. Will you at actually attack me, please? We could remove our need for any other keys by taking pay to win. Or pay to play, rather. Not sure I want to. It's annoying where these are placed. Would I rather have... I mean, if it's a Joker card, that doesn't really do anything, does it? Alright, that kind of worked out. And we need a key for our item room. And... I don't know, I'll decide on pay to play. Ooh, what's that? Explosivo Sticky Bomb Shot. Ah, alright, it's my first time finding this item. Explosivo. Is that a fast show reference? Oh, wait, no, that was Scorch Show. Never mind. Right, we should be able to kill you in 25 seconds. Especially with the sticky shots. Which also seem to be like every... No, every third shot, maybe. Polycephalus on the first floor! How is this an acceptable balance, I ask you? Also, the money is now on the switch. That's not good. I was treating you like the stain there. With contempt. I suppose it's telling that I'd rather do Eve's greed mode than Maggie's. Even though Maggie is technically, you know, prior to her Babylon, she's technically better. Boss wave. Do I want to range up before fighting the boss? No, I think I'd rather just buy a key for the next floor and say that this floor is a bit of a bust from an item perspective. Let's see how the boss wave goes. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of room to dodge until they start filling it with shit, so... Oh, and explos Explosivo Tears blow up the poop as well. It does seem to be like every third shot has a chance. It's the really dark coloured ones that have the chance to expand. If they stick an enemy, I guess. We lucked out here with the boss we got. If it was double Ragman, this would be a nightmare. 
Oh, you've got two on you. Well and truly splat. Damn it. Double, quadruple, ultra damn it. I guess we're just going down to the next floor. We're not leaving this first floor with much. Yeah, down we go. Crappy space bar item. Okay health. And an interesting tier effect. That's what we've got going for us so far. And we can get into here straight away. Loki's horns is acceptable. Magic scab is HP, unfortunately, which I would rather get rid of in favour of spirit hearts, but that's okay. What's our shop look like? Demon beggar. Ugh, not a great selection of space bar items either. Great, that was well worth my gamble. If I just run into the curse room, will they still be here when I come back? Oh, never mind, they're dead. Thank goodness I have a bomb. Well, I got 10 cents of value out of 5 cents, so... Yeah. A 2 cent uh, red heart is good as well. Wow, that was a quick payout, and it paid out well. Now I'm even more comfortable getting rid of my red hearts. What the hell does Pandora's box do in greed mode? Does it do the equivalent of the floor you're currently on? I mean, I'm tempted to take it just to see, because there's not a reroll machine again, so I don't have much of a choice here. It's either hold my money hoping to get more items on the next floor, or, or get subpar items and hope that they become something better. And that I still have the money to buy something after that. Let's see, if it was caves, if it's counting as caves 1, that is four spirit hearts, right? So that wouldn't be so bad. It's a shame it takes so long for the explosive tier to actually detonate, but I suppose that's to give you time to get away. <laughs> Wonder if luck would improve the number of sticky shots you fire. I wouldn't mind. They're, they're working out really, really well so far. And unlike something like Bob's Brain, they, I don't think they've actively hurt me yet. We're still not killing that fast though because our fire rate is appalling. Oh, well that's going to speed that wave up, that's for damn sure. Wall spiders! No! Not the cross-firing ones! They're my mortal enemy. Right, we're up to 35 cents, that's pretty significant money-wise. Damage-wise, we could still be doing better. The explosions help. I wonder if we had sad bombs that the explosive will... I think they do. Because we have had the explosive shots before, just like as part of like Rainbow Tears. Alright. I am curious enough to see what Pandora's box does, and it becomes Jar of Flies, which is a far... Oh, right. That's okay. We will buy Jar of Flies. It's a good item, and it's better than Bob's Rotten Head. And that became the battery, which I'd rather just pass on. There was a reroll machine, I'm an idiot. Uh, we'll see how much money we have after the boss wave. Little Horn and no one, but can we kill Little Horn in 30 seconds with Eve damage? I'm not sure. It depends how many bombs I get stuck to. You little shit. We do have a small damage up from uh, Ceremonial Robes, but it's not going to be enough, I think. He's got another bomb stuck to his ass. Oh, hey, that did do a lot of damage. Who's next? Oh, good. Ragman. At least it's only one. Don't do any of your bullshit psychic shots. Just kindly die. Also, stop spawning things. Thank you. Well, I mean, you died, so you didn't really have a choice in the matter, but thanks anyway. Explode. Beautiful. So, do I buy the battery? Not with the current item I have. Do I buy the speed up, or do I try for a one cent re- Actually, I could use a bomb to get a reroll. Let's do that. Car battery. Does that mean I would spit out twice the number of flies? Because if so, that should be fantastic. If I'm wrong about this, then I've just wasted a purchase, which is real bad in this mode. Oh good, polycephal. How many flies do we get? Ah, uh, that was just eight, so I don't think it's doing anything for this. That's unfortunate. I would have thought it worked like that. You get double the use of your spacebar item. I should be having double the number of flies spit out. But no. 
Well, we're not necessarily going to stick with jar of flies for the entire run, so we might still get something that makes car battery pay out. Oh hey, when he goes underground, the, sh the sticky bomb shots just fall to the ground. Yeah, like that. Damn near walked into that shot. You just had to hit me once before the end, didn't you? I lost him. Where is he? Oh, I hate this moment. Because if I stand still, he's going to pop up on me, so I just have to make sure I get close enough to him to force him to pop out without actually stopping. Alright, there we are. Oh, for God's sake. You just had to be Krampus, didn't you? Well, if he drops Krampus' head, I'm not taking it. So we want Lump of Coal, and we want it now. Yeah, pretty bad all of a sudden, didn't it? Oh, you're dead. On the plus side, we have more keys than we'll need for a while, unless there's a bunch of gold chests I somehow discover. So, depths, our free item is... The fact there's a rainbow poop in here could be important. Matchstick, well, we have no trinkets, so whatever. Two spades doubles our keys, we might as well. So that probably has sorted us key-wise. Oh, good. I can't see what that is. Some kind of bomb, obviously. H-bombs? Sticky bombs, egg sack bombs. Alright. Well, Cricket's Head we absolutely want. Uh, I'll pay for a red chest. I wish I didn't. No, don't hit that! <sighs> I want Cricket's Head. This beggar is... Well, okay, I'll play him down to five. Four. Three. You're dead. Although, thank you for Guppy's Caller, I suppose. Alright, we want to get to 15 cents. Let's do it. And then we'll get a fairly significant damage up, which will help a crap ton. Because we need it. Apparently we're not getting to her Babylon, because we're just getting bad deals with Devil. Hell, we might have Angel deals for all I, all I know now, that I saw the Cramps' head and ignored it. If we get some luck ups, you know, shooting sticky bomb shots from every angle could be real good. Where on earth did that turret come from? Oh, the skulls. That's where it came from. I'm kind of just hiding behind this gap and it's it's working. Oh, no it's not! They worked out my secret. Retrovision's back, everybody. I bet you're glad he's back. Oh, on the bright side, this is a very small bright side, but it is still bright side. If we get hit once, Dead Bird starts doing work. And we know that there's rainbow poops, so really we're okay as long as we don't die. Oh, unfortunately, Dead Bird has chosen to go after the really, really tanky enemy. Oh. Yeah, I boxed myself in there. Alright, all the enemies that are spawning are spawned, so that's fine. Sticky bomb them. Then destroy them. Perfect. Give me that sweet damage up. Also, I should have used my spacebar item. I keep forgetting I have it. So, we'll take the damage up and it becomes Necronomicon, which we don't want. Let's try and get some money from these two. Two more cents could matter. Uh, let's see, that's a range up, that's pay to play. We have enough keys, so I don't want that. I'm tempted by the heart. I don't know if I want to use... We have this the flies ready, so I don't want to use the rainbow poop yet, because we're going to mostly do it... Yeah. We're going to do well with the flies here. Flies. Flies actually get in there, please. Alright, well, you've given me a damage up. If nothing else. Oh, don't die. Don't die! We had a good thing going there, son of a bitch. Oh, but Guppy's collar brought me back. Oh, Alright, let's not take any chances and just heal ourselves. 
Sadly, it's going to be harder now because I don't have the army of flies. But we did get up to 15 cents. Ugh, please reroll. Please reroll. Reroll. HP, the shovel, a spirit heart. I mean, I guess I'd buy the HP to trade it away, even though it takes us even further away from poor Babylon. Oh, and then it becomes a good item. Son of a bitch. Oh, I think it's counting that I cleared the first part. Good. It wasn't actually the gate that killed me. There was these twats. Why am I even focusing on them? Just move when they jump. This is just going to spawn more of them. Get some sticky bombs on them, for goodness sake. There we are. That's doing okay, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Just walk into the shot. Right, dead bird. Get the main body. There we are. What the hell kind of beam was that? Yes, yeah, sawed off. Let's go in the curse room. Justice. There's no justice. See? Well, the High Priestess will kill our next boss. Nope. No, he won't. Also, two stains. Seriously. That's a big explosion. You see the size of that? Right, we can outrange him. Next shots are faster. Actually, no, I can't outrange him. Well, with the explosions, I can. Oh, I honestly... Th oh, it did kill him. Good. Oh, come on. Jera and Anzus. Does the Jera have any value in greed mode? If I somehow combined it with the credit card, I guess. Well, there's nothing else I can do here. There we go. Not in a good position. I am desperate enough for a few more pennies that will do this. If our deals with the devil were better, this would have been perfect so far. But on the plus side, greed mode attempts are so quick, by and large, that I can fit in two if this one craps out in a floor or two. Hell, it might even just be this floor if it happens. Alright, that's a good tears up. Any tent drops in here? No. Then that's a good all sets up. But it takes us further away from her Babylon again. As would meat, which I guess we're going to be buying. Please bets now, will, will this be yet another switch where when you hit it, you just spawn a bunch of enemies? If you said yes, you are wrong. Ten cents, that makes up for some bad purchases I've made so far. Namely car battery and... Uh, mostly just car battery. Alright, we can't quite get meat this wave. Oh, maybe we can. Nope. Alright, we're doing a bit more damage in the sense that we're firing more often now. Bond. Ah. We're not getting as lucky with the waves on this floor, I think. We're still alive. You're still alive. A lot of enemies who are technically immune to explosivo. Oh, there was a tent drop there that I never saw, I guess. In that they constantly go underground, so the tears just fall to the floor and do nothing. Yeah, I, what can I do about this? Spawn a bunch of flies. Uh, where are my flies? Did they all get absorbed by what was surrounding me? Wow. There was 20 flies. There was not 20 enemies. Get them. Get them, flies. Get them. Get rid of the goddamn diglets. They're awful. Lost. Two lusts. Well, at least we have enough for meat. A small damage up and more red HP because that's clearly what I'm wanting. And it becomes the one up. Oh, well, nothing else. Oh yeah, has there been any way I could have used Jera already and I've ruined it by forgetting I had it? Probably. I'd rather not have to buy red hearts, but it's, it's getting into that kind of situation. Ugh. All 
Right. Get rid of the gurglings. Gertie, you wait your goddamn turn. That is a lot of explosions about to happen on you. And <laughs> she doesn't give a rat's ass. Oh, and there's still another wave? That was two at the same time, though. Oh, God. Remove the heart from the equation. Remove the heart. The heart is removed. Well, at least Explosivo will do well against Mask of Infamy, presumably. Yeah, there we go. Just fill his mouth with explosions. <laughs> I think he died. He died. It's my impersonation of the sniper from TF2, who is not Australian. It's GLaDOS's husband that does that voice, and he is not Australian. I guess I just... What floor is this? Yeah, we've still got another shop. Two shops, in fact. I don't want the one-up. Because if we have to, if we have, to, if we, we're coming back from the one up, our HP goes back down to what we started with, and that's not good enough. Oh wait, I could. The general will work on money, right? It doesn't when you have contract from below, for sure, because I've tried it. But presumably the general will still work on greed mode. Also, this is a nightmare wave. My God. Two polycephalus and monstro that likes to jump around a lot. I mean, I guess we take Monstro out first. And they all are technically immune to Explosivo because they'll move before they explode. Unless he stops to fire his beam, I suppose. We managed to get rid of one Polycephalus. There's the other one. And that's three explosions wasted. Alright. Somehow Monstro 2 lasted until the end. I guess because of all the hopping. Or maybe he's just more tanky than I give him credit for? He does seem to have a lot of HP. The one-time explosivo shots would have been perfect because of how many beams he was firing and he... and it didn't do one until he was dead. And of course we're getting deals with Angel now. I'm desperate enough for spirit hearts. I'm not going to waste my other bomb, it might have value. So yeah, on the next floor, I'll try and use Jera to double up the money after the first set of waves, before the boss wave. Oh, that was a nice payout. It's typical. If we had been playing as Maggie, this would probably be much more comfortable because we want to be on lots of red hearts. But we're Eve, so we don't want to be. Curse of the Blind, so I don't know what I'm picking up. Fantastic. Little Steven is okay. Holy Light is fine, yeah, it's, it's a good tier effect, I like it. And what's our shop look like? Oh yeah, we don't know what we're picking up. Well, maybe I should just hoard my money this floor then, so I know what I'm taking, because otherwise it could just be a waste. This is our last floor of item rooms, but it's not our last floor of shops. I mean, I guess I'll buy, buy a guaranteed heart, because there's that. You can get blown up. Uh, fart. Tomb. No. Alright, don't take the money from the waves. Hang around the bottom of the floor. I assume there's two more coming for me. Yeah. I mean, is Explosivo plus Holy Shot good? It sounds like it should be pretty good. Also very much like these two to be destroyed. Oh, I don't have a bomb there. Also, what is hanging off my ass? What is that? There's a, like a polyp on my butt. And I don't know what item I've picked up that's given me that. Nope. Didn't see you. Obviously, because you were invisible, but still. Ah! You made me take a penny! How dare you! Stupid ghosts. Oh, these are real bad, because they shoot instantly and shoot constantly and you get no iframes in between hits against them for some reason. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think I killed one. There's two dead. 
Holy Light isn't working on them if it's Explosivo. Did you see that? There was an Explosivo Holy Light shot and it just fell to the floor. Alright, yeah, I've been an idiot. I've been an idiot, rather. But, I don't want to spend my money on this floor except maybe for hearts to stay alive because I, I want to know what I'm picking up. So we'll buy a heart just to stay alive. We'll go in the curse room and then probably buy another heart. Oh, god damn it. Is there a bomb here? There's not even a bomb. It's ridiculous. Okay, boss wave, spawn flies, two Stevens. Easy to start with. I was getting confused by my little Steven there. I was like, why is little Steven now on my side? But I already had him. Yeah, the holy light effect on an explosivo shot doesn't happen. So actually, the synergy between them is bad. <laughs> right, the fallen. That's not so bad. If they stay close together, we could work this out. Nope, never mind. Oh, they're dead. Okay. Straight to boss wave. Or, you know, devil deal wave. Is that three little horns? It is. On the plus side, they don't have a lot of HP. And the explosions stick to them. And they're hurting themselves. And my feet are cold. That last one's true. This would be a nightmare as the lost. Oh, thank you for blowing up a skull, presumably, and giving me that spur heart. Nye, 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 nye. That's the noise you're making. It's kind of adorable. Stop teleporting. Come on now. All right, there we are. Deal with Angel again. Yes. In which we get more red HP because that's clearly what I want as Eve. Then we go. So we can buy a lot now. Please don't be Curse of the Blind again. Who knows what I was missing not buying anything on that floor. All right, no curse. Good. Speaking of curses. Garbage. Tammy's head. With this tier effect, um, I think what I'm using might be better. I'm not sure though, which is uh, unsettling. We'll buy the nail, sorry, the screw for the tiers and shot speed. I mean, there's no reroll. Oh wait, no, there is a reroll machine. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, let's go for a reroll. We need we need more than just more HP. Um. <clears throat> That's just speedball, unfortunately. Keep in mind we haven't fought any waves on this floor yet. I think I'd rather go for another reroll, to be honest. PhD this late in the game. I mean, let's see what we can get. Ooh, synth oil. Synth oil, yes. Spider mod I'd love to take just for funsies, but I can't. D20 is very interesting. If I let all the money drop, pick up one cent, buy it, and then re-roll all the money, I am I should get more than the value of just the coins. Or it could be a gamble that doesn't pay off. But, it sounds fun enough that I want to try it. Unless I get a penny here. I do get a penny here. So, yeah, I'm still going to do that. I'm going to try and leave the money sitting. Let's do it. Alright, greeds. Ideally, I don't want to lose money to you, so please don't hit me too much. Good start. Is that two more greeds? Is it this time they have a health bar? Oh, it's, well, it's, it's the shopkeeper type of greed. Yeah, you guys have, have got to go nice and quick. Don't knock money into me. It has potential more value once I d20 it. And there's a battery I could buy if I don't like the first set of rerolls. This is like the ultimate gamble. Do I need to make the ultimate gamble? I don't really know. But it sounds funny to me, so I want to see what happens. We've used the D20 in a greed mode run before. Oh, that was the first time Explosivos hurt me. Uh, Loki? Nope, just a bunch of flies. What made those spikes spawn then? Loki again? No, just, just more spikes. Oh, the spikes, the blue spikes are staying. That's not good. All right. Oh. Please pay off. Curved horn trinket. So looking okay so far. We'll take the bomb. That might have value. We don't need any of these keys, so these can get rerolled again. 
We need that heart. I'm high manning just to get out of there. Oh, we need the money then. Oh, that's the thing. I need one more cent to buy the battery, right? Wait, I thought there was a battery. There isn't a battery. I'm an idiot. We're not going to get another reroll with it either. So we just have to take what we got. So did it work out? No, not really. I mean, hell, we've got enough keys for days. Oh, wait, 40 hour energy? I really wish I knew that was that before I used it. That's a shame. But hey, we've got a damn job from Curved Horn, so that's real good. And I do want to buy PJs or whatever it's called. Will we get enough money for that? I don't know. Well, hang on. I can use this to get my 20 spiders and then try and get a reroll, but I don't think there's enough waves left to do that, but we'll give it a go anyway. Why did I think there was a battery? Was I thinking of the previous floor? I mean, I guess it was. That's a lot of explosions on that death end there. Yeah, he just got annihilated as soon as they actually exploded. Ah, the horse is too quick. Oh, speaking of, I'm a little slow and Ultra Greed starts to move real fast towards the end of the fight. Hmm. That could be a problem. I noticed when we were doing that Eden one, that was a little bit slow. Oh, we didn't get enough. We didn't get enough! And this is our last floor before Ultra Greed. Oh, we have our boss wave, but that's still not going to give me enough for a charge, so I might as well just build up flies. Save me, Explosivo! Save me! Hide behind that. Surely it works. Does it work? Eh, kind of. It looks like... No, the shots are getting past it. He's got Spectral Tears, it turns out, even though he doesn't. It's probably just that the wonky hitbox is going around the rock rather than on it. I'm amazed I got out of that. Oh, we're back to deals with the devil. Oh, I have the means by which to get rid of all my red HP. I'm not sure if it will replace all my red hearts, but we have to go for it. As in, I didn't. Mean, I knew it took away all your red hearts. I meant, will it give me a black heart for every red heart it takes? The answer to that is sadly not. Um, give me enough to get PJs. No, you give me nothing at all. Uh, we just hold on to the money then. And we hope that this is enough HP to win. We definitely have enough damage. Oh, actually, we could get money here. I mean, I'm not doing anything else with my bombs, so... Is that enough? That is entirely enough. Fantastic. Three more... Sp four more spare hearts? I thought it gave you three. Well, either way, that's really good. That could be the difference between winning and losing. Our speed went up a little bit as well, I think, from taking Spirit of the Night. We seem faster than we were just before. We still might be too slow to dodge Ultra Greed in his final form, or when he's, you know, maximum pissed off. We're definitely a lot stronger now. Ultra Greed doesn't care about that kind of shit, but it does mean we can kill his coins, which is the important part, because otherwise he's literally invincible. Do, 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 do. Flies, you want to get in there and like do stuff or anything? I hate that the coins hurt you when they land on you because there's no way of knowing where they're going to be landing. I don't think that was always that way. I think they changed that. Did I take half damage from that coin? I thought you took full hearts of this fight. Hmm. You got a lot of health back there, back there because I can't keep up with the damage of the coins, uh, the heals rather. I may just try and out damage him instead because at least the explosivos are time release damage. And they seem to be doing quite a lot. Plus, if he's blocking when he does those bombs, it gives the explosivos time to charge up and then he stops blocking in time for them to explode. I think we're actually killing him faster than last time, and I was a lot stronger last time, so it's kind of annoying. But I think the Explosivo explosions are what's helping. So it is going to be a win. Oh, we've got 20 more flies, didn't notice. Yeah, look at that. They just fall on you now and do damage, and you can't tell where they're going to land. 
You're taking away my money and that annoys me because I wanted to donate a lot more. And now we've lost all our money so it no longer matters. Oh, now he's very fast. So yeah, this is the point of the fight where I was a little bit worried. But it seems like we're fast enough now. Oh, take damage from that, why don't you? It appears they've got even faster. Oh, you're not going to be happy when all those explode on you. Dead birds nibbling your butt as well. Gonna drop some money before you die, maybe? So I can donate something rather than literally nothing? No, no you're not. We will unlock something, though. Black Feather has appeared in the basement. We can donate... S nothing. Alright, well, that's another greed mode. That's probably the longest greed mode run I've done as well. But we were Eve, so what do you expect? Hope you enjoyed, and ta-ta for now.